Technology is revolutionizing teaching and learning in education. We are feeling the winds of change. Using Wiki and other Web 2.0 tools to teach content and enhance student learning in a secondary school English classroom. This is presented by Edith Wood for my research for EDRS 8900 at Kennesaw State University. I chose my topic because studies have shown that wiki-based instruction fosters collaboration, peer editing, and communication outside the classroom. This type of instruction also supports the ISTE standards for students, challenging them to think creatively, work collaboratively, conduct research, and hone their criti critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making skills. The purpose of my study was to examine the impact of a class wiki incorporating Web 2.0 tools on student engagement and higher order thinking skills. My research questions were, what is the impact of integrating Web 2.0 tools on student engagement and learning? How can the integration of Web 2.0 tools stimulate higher order thinking skills? And how does the integration of Web 2.0 tools affect student perceptions of content mastery? As I researched my topic in preparation for my experiment, I found that the current studies have some important limitations, most notably a small number of those conducted in secondary schools. I was able to categorize my research into four themes, history and theories, elementary and secondary school studies, higher education studies, and language, language learner studies. As I planned my research, I decided on a within design method because I had to use a sample of convenience, a situation accommodated by this model. It also did not require a large group of participants or a control group and allowed me to avoid ethical issues associated with random assignment and withholding favorable treatments from a control group. My participants included one 12th grade English teacher with eight years of experience who uses a lot of technology in her classroom, and 19 of the 32 12th grade students in her class who participated anonymously. As my source of data, I conducted two surveys. My variables were the two treatments, or book studies. I conducted the first survey before both treatments. The first treatment was a traditional paper and pencil study of Beowulf. A few weeks later, the second treatment was administered, which was a technology-rich wiki study of a book called Shakespeare, The World at Stage. This study incorporated three Web 2.0 tools in addition to the wiki. Following this study, the post-experiment survey was administered. For my data analysis, I began by analyzing the, the demographics of my participants. As you can see, 53% were white, 21% were African American, 5% were Hispanic, 5% were Asian, and 16% were mixed race. As far as the gender goes, 58% were male and 42% were female. Next, I looked at student engagement in the treatments. I had seven questions that were designed to measure student engagement, and in every one, the wiki study came out on top. 68% um, believed that their group's in input improved their work. 58% said that their group, my group members, helped me learn. 89% said that they contributed actively to their group. 68% said my group members each had different strengths. 79% said my group members had good ideas, 74% said they appreciated having a partner, and 68% said that they learned to appreciate another person's point of view. Next, I look at, looked at the rigor of the two treatments. In this side, you can see that 63% said that the wiki study required more analysis and integration idea, of ideas than the traditional study. As far as self-discipline and focus, 58% said that the wiki study required more. 
this chart shows that 58 percent oops sorry wrong chart this chart shows which study required the, the most processes and you can see that the wiki came out on top for decision making research analyzing information and problem solving for conclusion for these participants, the wiki-based instruction appears to engage and challenge students on a higher level than traditional studies. However, my findings are not valid enough to be generalized beyond the classroom. Um, my participation pool was too small and it was very brief. I recommend that further studies be conducted, utili utilizing a larger group and randomly selected participants. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for listening.